Hello everybody, you fix it here. Welcome back to Undertale. And we're off! Knock knock! Wow, you're so eager to date me. You're trying to go into my house without me. That's really weird. So you came back to have a date with me. You must be really serious about this. I'd like to take you someplace really special. A place I like to spend a lot of time. I I'm going on a date with this dude. Okay, it's happening. Is it going to be his own place? <laughs> My house! You gotta be kidding me. Oh, come on, guy. What is going on with your bedroom up there? This is my brother's pet rock. He always forgets to feed it. As usual, I have to take responsibility. The rock is covered in sprinkles! Oh, shit, there's a whole other room here. Uh, that's the trash can? Feel free to visit it anytime. My brother always goes out to eat, but recently he tried baking something? It was like a quiche, but filled with a sugary non-egg substance. How absurd. Impressed? I increased the height of my sink. Now I can fit more bones under it. Take a look-see. His special weapon! Catch that meddling canine! Curses! Oh, that's his room then. Sans, stop plaguing my life with incidental music. Welcome to scenic, to scenic my house. Enjoy and take your time. Aha! Interested in my f food museum? Please peruse my culinary art show. Half the fridge is filled with containers all labeled spaghetti. The other half contains nothing but an empty bag of chips. Okay. What's this thing? There's a dirty sock with a series of notes on it. Sans, please pick up your sock. Okay. Don't put it back down. Move it. Okay. You moved it two inches. Move it to your room. Okay. And don't bring it back. Okay. It's still here. Didn't you just say not to bring it back to my room? Forget it. Oh, it's my favorite game show! It says, stay tuned for a new program, MTT. What? It's usually better than this. This is just a bad episode. Don't judge me! You're judged. You touch the couch. It makes a jangling sound. You find a bunch of loose coins inside the couch. You got 20... <laughs> I just robbed him! It's a joke book. Take a look inside? Well, of course. Inside the, inside the joke book was a quantum physics book. You look inside. Inside the quantum physics book was another joke book. You look inside. There's another quantum physics book. You decide to stop. A classic image. It always reminds me of what's important in life. Door is locked. That's my room. If you finish looking around, we could go in and do whatever people do when they date. Not yet. I want to talk to you first. Um, enjoy and take your time. Okay. Well, let's let's do this. My body's ready. Go inside. Yes. Oh my God! So much room for activities. Hey. Are, those are all the attacks I used on you. Great memories, huh? Seems like it was only yesterday. Even though it basically just happened. The internet! I'm quite popular there. I'm just a dozen away from a double-digit follower count. Of course, fame has a steep price. A jealous troll has besieged my online persona, always sending me bad puns in a, go in a goofy font. The computer's internet browser is open to a social media site. Okay. Good to know. That book's one of my favorites. Advanced Puzzle Construction for Critical Minds. That next book's another one of my favorites. Peekaboo with Fluffy Bunny. The ending always gets me. 
Ah, yes, action figures. Great reference for theoretical battle, battle scenarios. How do I have so many? Well, let's just say they're from... A chubby, smiling man who loves to surprise people. Yeah, that's right. Santa. Isn't that flag neato? Undyne found it at the bay. I think it's from the human world? Now, I, I know what you're, you're thinking. Why would a human flag have a cool skeleton on it? Well, I have a theory. I think humans must have descended from skeletons. <laughs> okay. Whatever you say, buddy. Well, that's my bed. If I ever get to the surface, I'd like to drive down a long highway. Wind in my hair, sun in my skin. Of course, that's just a dream. So instead, I cruise while I snooze. What's in here, guy? There are no skeletons inside my closet. Except me, sometimes. Yes. Clothes are hung up neatly inside. Oh. Okay. Um, is there anything else, like, hidden? Oh! Why are you so interested in my bed? Are you tired? Sexy robots, complex manuals, and children's books. So, um, if you've seen everything, do you want to start the date? <laughs> Why not, I guess? Who the hell knows? Yes. Okay, dating start. Dating start. Here we are on our date. I've actually never done this before. But don't worry. You can spell prepared without several letters for, with several... You can't spell prepared without several letters for my name. I snagged an official dating rule book from the library. We're ready to have a great time. Let's see. Step one. Press the C key on your keyboard for dating HUD. What the shit am I looking at? Wowie, I feel so informed. I think we're ready for step two. Step two. Ask them on a date. Ahem. <clears throat> Human, I, the great papyrus, will go on a date with you. Oh my god, I, I so want to say no! Hard to get. I'm doing it! Fortunately, it only asks. It only says to say ask. I guess that means it's time for part three. Step three, put on nice clothes to show you care. Wait a second. Wear clothing. That bandana around your head, you're wearing clothing right now. Not only that... Earlier today, you were also wearing clothing. No! Could it be? You've wanted to date me from the very beginning? That's very neat that it recognized that I put that bandana on before I fought him. Um... What do I say? Yes. <laughs> Those eyes! No! You planned it all! You're way better at dating than I am. No, your, your dating power! Are you kidding me right now? <laughs> Don't think you've bested me yet. I, the Great Papyrus, have never been beaten by at dating, and I never will. I can easily keep up with you. You see, I, too, can wear clothing. In fact, I always wear my special clothes underneath my regular clothes. Just in case somebody happens to ask me on a date. Behold! What do you think of my secret style? Um... Oh man, I hate it. No! Your honesty, it shows how much you really care! <laughs> what is happening right now with my life? However, you don't truly understand the hidden power of this outfit. Therefore, what you just said is invalid. This date won't escalate any further. Unless you find my secret. But that won't happen. Move and inspect with Z. Holding my hand so I'll tell you the answer. No, I must resist. I'm doing it. You guys know it. 
There is no secret to my legs. Just hard work and perseverance. I had to, guys. My hat? No, I, 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 I picked your nose. Well, I didn't pick your nose. Well, I didn't do that either. Your nose is just a hole, but you catch my drift. My hat! My hat! <laughs> well, well, then you found my secret. I suppose I have no choice. It's a present. It's a present just for you. Do you know what this is? Is it spaghetti? <laughs> That's right! You have no idea! Though this appears to be spaghetti, this ain't any old plain old pasta. This is an artisan's work. Silken spaghetti, finely aged in an oaken cask. Then cooked by me, Master Chef of Papyrus. Human, it's time to end this! There's no way this can go any further. Um... Eat it. You take a small bite. Your face reflexively scrunches up. The taste is indescribable. What a passionate expression. You must really love my cooking. And by extension, me. Maybe even more than I do. Ugh. Ugh. No. Human, it's clear now. You're madly in love with me. Everything you do, everything you say, it's all been for my sake. Human, I want you to be happy too. It's time for me to express my feelings. It's time that I told you. I, Papyrus. I, um, boy, is it hot in here or is it just me? Oh, shoot. Human, I... I'm sorry, I don't like you the way you like me. <laughs> you goddamn cocktease. Romantically, I mean. I mean, I, I, I tried very hard to. I thought that because you flirted with me, that I was supposed to go on a date with you. And then on, on the date, feelings would blossom forth. I would be able to match your passion for me. But alas, I, the Great Papyrus, have failed. I feel just the same as before, and instead, by dating you, I have only drawn you deeper. It's your intense love for me. A dark prison of passion with no escape. How could I have done this to my dear friend? No! Wait, that's wrong! I can't fail at anything! Human! I'll help you through these trying times. I'll keep being your friend, your cool friend. And act like this has all never happened. After all, you are very great. It would be tragic to lose your friendship. So please, don't be cry, don't cry because I won't kiss you. Because I don't even have lips. And hey, someday you'll find someone as great as me. Well... No, that's, that's not true, but I'll help you settle for second best. <laughs> I, I need to get the F out of this house. Oh, and if you ever need to reach me, here's my phone number. You can call me at any time. Platonically, of course. Well, I gotta go. <laughs> um, loot the house. Okay. Can I, can I steal this shit? I just want to steal it. No, I can't snoop. No, okay. Whatever. Hi, over here. The door's locked. Um, is he in here? I can't go in there. So, where did he go? Has anything changed? I do want to look inside. Okay, never mind. Um... <laughs> so... What has changed? Should I go check with everybody else, maybe? Perhaps? I don't know. How about you? You have anything different for me? 
Um, I don't think so. No, no. Uh, Grillbees, is he gonna be in here? No. He's got nothing new to say. Gotcha! Get on my way, girl. In fact, I've got a lot of stuff I mean, I could probably dump some off, right? Um, oh, I've only got four things left. I got a... What, do I, what is this faded ribbon I have? I don't even remember. Hold on. Item. Faded ribbon. Armor. Okay. If you're cuter, might just won't hit you as hard. Right. Nice to know. Um, I don't need to go in the end. How about I backtrack a little bit? Yeah, I don't think I need to go that way. So, how about I just head to the right? Well, how about I save, first of all? Yes, I am filled with determination. Oh, you know what I can do is I can go see if that wolf thingy is done with the ice cubes. Probably not, but I'm going to check it anyway. Same old, same old. Alright. Oh, wait a minute. Did I ever go up this way? I did. There's nothing here. I forgot. And I'm assuming he will not be protecting this any longer? Or no? Fantastic. Okay. Um, so this is the king's castle. I'm not sure. Do I want to go this way? What is this? It won't let me interact with it. Can I jump on a block of ice, please? Maybe. No. Okay. A party! Oh my god, lizard person's here. How'd you get here? Yo, are you sneaking out to see her too? Awesome, she's the coolest, right? I want to be just like her when I grow up. Hey, don't tell my parents I'm here. <laughs> okay, who is he talking about? This is an echo flower. It repeats the last thing it heard over and over. This is an echo flower. It repeats the last thing it heard over and over. And there's another saved game. So, Mr. Sands, what do you got to say for yourself? What? You haven't seen a guy with two jobs before? Well, fortunately, two jobs means twice as many legal required breaks. I'm going to grill bees. Want to come? Yeah. Well, if you insist, I'll prime myself away from my work. Over here. I know a shortcut. Awesome. Fast shortcut, huh? Hey, everyone! Hey, Sans! Hi, Sans! Greetings, Sans! Hi, Sansy! Hey, Sans, weren't you just here for breakfast a few minutes ago? Nah, I haven't had breakfast in at least a half an hour. You used to be thinking of brunch! <laughs> and you see the dogs! Here, get comfy. Oh, whoops! Watch where you sit down. Sometimes weirdos put whoopee cushions on those seats. Anyway, let's order. What do you want? Um... Is a burger going to offend anybody here? Uh, I'm going to go with a burger. Hey, that sounds pretty good. Grill me! We'll have a double order of burg. He's scratching his head. So what do you think? Of my brother? <laughs> cool. Well, of course he's cool. I mean, you'd be cool too if you wore that outfit every day. He'd only take that thing off if he absolutely had to. Oh well, at least he washes it. And by that I mean he wears it in the shower. 
Here comes the grub. Want some ketchup? Uh... He sounds like the kind of guy that would be offended by ketchup. More for me. Well, he's not offended by it. He's scratching his ass now. Anyway, cool or not, you have to agree Papyrus tries real hard. Like how he keep like how he keeps trying to be part of the Royal Guard? One day he went to the house of the head of the Royal Guard and begged her to let him be in it. Well, of course she shut the door on him because it was midnight. But the next day, she woke up and saw him still waiting there. Seeing his dedication, she decided to give him a warrior training. It's, um, still a work in progress. How about we get a drink there, Chief? Oh yeah, I wanted to ask you something. Have you ever heard of a talking flower? I'm not sure I like where this is going. Everything seems to have stopped, and we have a spotlight on us. I'm going to tell the truth. So you know all about it. Well, uh, the Echo Flower. They're all over the marsh. Say something to them, and they'll repeat it over and over. What about it? Well, Pyrus told me something interesting the other day. Sometimes, when no one else is around, Flower appears and whispers things to him. Flattery, advice, encouragement, predictions. Weird, huh? Someone must be using an echo flower to play a trick on him. Keep an eye out, okay? Thanks. That's very weird. Well, that was a long break. I can't believe I let you I let you pull me away from work that long. Oh, by the way. I'm flat broke. Can you foot the bill? It's just 10,000. Oh my god. Sure. Just kidding. Grillby, put it on my tab. By the way, I was going to say something, but I forgot. We did not eat our burgers. I would like to eat my burger, please. How about you? Do you have anything to say for me? No. Uh, Grillby Grilbs said that your food is probably cold by now. All right, well, that's okay. Sansy, come back and sit with me. Everything's so fun when you're around. All right, so you guys got nothing new. I like Sans. Sometimes he feeds us scraps of food under the table. Then his brother gets mad. But why? We're adults. We can handle it. Sans is interesting. He's told me all uh, about all kinds of incredible foods. But despite his knowledge, he always orders the worst burger off the menu. The capital's getting pretty crowded, so I've heard they're going to start moving here. Hmm. I don't want to see the erasure. Oh, I think he already, we already did that one. Yeah. Oh my god, I can't control where I'm going. Thank you, doggo. It's playing poker. Okay. You guys got nothing to say. Huh? Since when did you and Sans become friends? I don't like him. He loves to appear without moving. Sans is the most regular regular of all. He hasn't been showing up as much recently, though. Sans is a century, but don't let his title make you think he does anything. Everyone knows he sits around in the forest reading car magazines. Okay. All right, I was thinking maybe I'd have something different with him or not. How about you? No, you're s no, not the cutest. Oh God damn it! Can I get by? No, I would like to go in here. Whatever. All right, I'm going to save this guy. Thank you, and that fills me with determination. Fantastic. I am going to end the episode here. Thank you guys for watching. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.